The winter slowly leaving its mark on Minnesota, and the arrival of snow and ice comes with an increased use of those ice melt products. Unfortunately, the safety measure also puts fresh water at risk of collecting chlorine, which is a permanent pollutant. Our corn hogger live for us in Minneapolis tonight, showing us these big consequences from a very small amount of salt, Corin. Yeah, Amy and Randy, scientists say it just takes one teaspoon of salt or de-icer to completely pollute five gallons of water. And Minnesota agencies are putting 445,000 tons or 255 billion teaspoons of it on our roads every year. The fish and plants growing in Thompson Lake will likely struggle more than most. The West St. Paul Waterway is one of 53 Minnesota lakes considered impaired by chloride, a problem that generally can only get worse. Once it's already in the system, we can't do anything to remove it. So we really want to prevent that from happening in the first place. One of the easiest ways to protect Thompson Lake or Bidet Makoska or any other fresh water is to not use too much salt or ice melt. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency says your best bet is shoveling first and using sand or grit on top of compacted snow to create traction. They train public works departments across the state to do ice prevention by using brine, a combination of salt and water, which drastically cuts down on the need for salt. They've been able to reduce their salt use anywhere from 30 to 70 percent and still maintain safe conditions for the public. Tomorrow before the storm, uh, this will be out uh, anti-icing. Golden Valley crews have their brine ready to go before the next storm. They've gotten the MPCA training and invested in technology, giving them road temperatures and other data to help reduce the amount of chemicals they use while still keeping the road safe. We're really trying to push liquids, reduce the granular salt. And one more helpful hint for you. They say it just takes one coffee mug full of salt or de-icer to completely de-ice your entire driveway. If you do that and you still see some left over, they say you should probably use a little bit less the next time around. Live in Minneapolis, Corn Hoggard, Fox 9. Good advice, Corn.